Hey, Glam Fam. Hi, everybody. It's my beautiful daughter, Alexandria, and myself here. And today we are going to be doing a review of a blow dryer that kind of has been getting a lot of attention online. And Allison bought it, and so I was like, you know what, I might as well review it so that way we can figure out what's going on. So this is the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler, um, which I have to be quite honest, the initial portion of the review, <laughs> Dan's face right now, the initial portion of the review for me is like the fact that I'm kind of disappointed that Allison went to Ulta and bought this for like 40 bucks, like look at the price, $40. And let me tell you, like on Amazon, it's 29. And then to make banners even worse, in our local grocery store, it was on clearance for like 14 and some change. And I know because I'm always back there in the clearance aisles because I'm a tight one. So let's go ahead, we'll take this out and get the full work up and all that. Zan, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you guys know our channel, kind of petty, so get your popcorn ready, get your tea because this could be a rather petty review. I know I have my popcorn. Amen. That does not look like a blow dryer. It looks like a hairbrush, just a normal Hold on. hairbrush. Hold on. All right, you guys, so this is the out of the box, which I will say, I honestly feel like for those who are like environmentally conscious, this box is huge for something this size. I just feel like there's so much wasted space here. It really seems like they could have gone for like a slender box and possibly saved. But I, in all fairness, the cardboard is pretty thin, so it could still be, you know, uh, eco safe or whatever. Um, this is literally all that was in the box. So let's snatch this baby open. All right, so this is the blow dryer, which it feels pretty soft in here. The ball points on the bristles are a little bulbous, so it could cause some tangling, so I would definitely recommend detangling your hair first. Don't use this to detangle prior to blow drying. It has multiple heat settings, which we've got uh, off, cool, uh, low, and high, so something to be considered there. It's fairly lightweight, it feels lighter than a blow dryer, I think. So yeah, Zan, what do you think about the look of it? It looks pretty. And it also has my mom's favorite color. And also my favorite color too. Okay, so that's important because- Why does it have holes in it? Because it's a blow dryer and that's where the air comes out. So, like Zan alluded to, there are these little air sockets here where the air comes out while you're brushing. I'm not sure if there's like a recommendation on how wet your hair should be but I would definitely be mindful of the water and stuff going in there. I don't know, we'll have to see. So just so you guys know, Zan's hair has been shampooed and I'm going to put some leave-in in there. Zan, would you grab the leave-in, please? We use, of course, the Giovanni Sushi Ultra Moist uh, Styling Elixir on her. It's an excellent moisturizer. You gotta hold it up close loose and upright so that way the camera can read it because it's sideways. Well, it, it does say two sheets there. I'll let it slide. Let's go ahead and check the length on this cord. It's kind of a short cord. So for salon use, which I mean, let's be real, this was never intended for salon use. This is intended for home use. Salon use, I would say no out of the back because the cord is too short. But for home use, it could be perfect. So let me go ahead and get Zan's hair prepped and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. Okay. Show me how you would model it if you had to have t like pictures taken with it. Um, I would hold it like, hold it like. Right, you guys, so we've got the hair prepped just by, I went ahead and put some leave-in conditioner in here and pre-brushed out this section. We're gonna go ahead and grab the brush and give it a round and see how it works out. So let's try this out. So it was at this point that I realized that this would be a great tool to scare your cats or your kids, but then I went ahead and got started and apparently this process tickles, so yeah. She giggled literally the entire time I blow dried her hair, which took about, I'd say maybe 10 minutes, if that. So 10 minutes of tee hee 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 ha ha. So if you're ticklish, I don't know, you might not want to use this, but just be warned. Okay, so on this first section you guys can see, like this is literally what it's looking like right now. It did blow the hair out. It's, it's not like impeccably straight or anything, but it did blow the hair out some, so okay. I would suggest brushing the hair out first because, you know, 
We don't need any issues. Here's your popcorn. Thank you. Dad, I was laughing. I know, you were. She was laughing a lot, so if you're super ticklish, I don't know if this is going to be the dryer for you. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and blow dry through the rest of this, and then we'll come back at the end with our final thoughts. Hi, Graham Film. We've been on for a little while. <laughs> It really hasn't been that long. So, uh, we did go ahead and get her finished blow drying with this baby here. Um, and now we're back with our positive and our negative thoughts and feedback. So, Zan, what are your impressions of this blow dryer? What do you think? Superhero. It's a superhero for hair. It's a superhero for hair. Okay. What makes you say that? Because it dries and it also brushes it so it looks nice and neat like this. Okay, so if it was this or the regular blow dryer, which would you like me or mom to use? This one. Okay, so that's from the opinion of the little person getting their hair blow dried. In my opinion, I have both good and negative feedback on this baby, and I'm going to go ahead and give that to you now. So the positive side of it is it does make blow drying easier, so you're not having to have like a brush and a blow dryer, uh, and then you're not having to worry about the blow dryer comb. However, comma space, insert petty here. It does not blow air out very hard at all, so it takes a little longer, I think, to really get the hair uh, dry. It's not, well, you know, I don't know if it necessarily takes longer, but it's not getting it as smooth as it would if I were to blow dry it with a comb attachment or even with, especially if I did it with a brush and the director nozzle. So that's one side there. Uh, the bristles don't get hot though, which is nice, uh, so you don't have to worry about like them burning the scalp or anything like that if you brush it across the scalp. Um, it does have a good amount of heat. There's just very little air pressure, so you're not really going to see a ton with that. Um, it says it's ergonomically correct. Where my hand comfortably went was right here, but you honestly have to grip it a bit further down because from about here up, it gets warm. The higher up you go, the warmer it gets, and of course the body up here is pretty hot, which is not too hot to me. I mean, I burn my hands all the time as a hairstylist, so I'm not as sensitive to temperature but I would imagine the average person would be a bit sensitive to the temperature that's going on in the neck right here. Zan, touch that for me, see if that feels hot to you. Wee! Okay, so yeah, the average person, for all of us who feel like that's child abuse. And let me do that again. No. Okay, so it's not too bad, but uh, to the average person, that portion may be a bit hot because of course we've been done blow drying her hair for a few minutes now, so things to consider there. Ultimately, I think if you had something like an issue with carpal tunnel or something like that uh, where you would really prefer to keep the hair straight, this would be better for something along those lines, especially if you have the hair stretched and you're just kind of going at an angle like that. Um, Dad? And be careful if you're ticklish. Yes? I can touch that. I can imagine so. It's like a hurt. Okay. Did not hurt. Downsides for me, I think, I don't know, hold on. I'm not sure if this comes apart very easily so you can take this off for sanitation purposes because I think about stuff like that. Getting like shed hair and stuff out of there isn't too bad, so yeah. Um, That's my job. Did it feel painful to blow dry your hair with that? No. No, okay, so no pain for her with blow drying with that. Keep in mind, we did detangle the hair prior too, so that's something to consider. So, I don't know, to me, I would consider this to be something that's nice for like if you're stretching the hair to do like a stretch, twist, ponytail styles, braids, something like that, I would not use it for like just letting her walk out and about like this because I don't feel like it got it smooth enough for that and I oh, wouldn't use Daddy. it. I see. I got a big plastic hair. Yay. Okay. And I wouldn't use it for um, like silk pressing or something. It just doesn't get the hair smooth enough for that. But if your intention is to stretch the hair, sure it could be great for that. Um, it's not too much heat at all. And I will say this is with it blow dried on high heat. Low heat, I don't imagine would do a ton unless you had extremely fine hair. Zan does have a normal texture of hair in terms of the thickness, so that's something to keep in mind as well. With that being said, I think out of five stars, I would probably give this a three. Zan, how many stars would you give it? Ten. You would give it ten stars? I know, not ten stars, two hundred. You would give it two hundred out of five stars? Okay, so... <laughs> Yes, so that's our input on it, and you can follow whoever's review that you want. Um, of course, links to it will be in the description box down below. I do think that ultimately it makes the job a lot easier, but you know, but clearly she's in love with it. I think part of it's because it's pink. No. No? It's because it's nice and cozy and warm and tickly. 
unless I say anything else. Okay, so that being said, Zan, do you have any final thoughts to add on this product? Yes. This stuff will always be a superhero no matter what, and it will always be your saver for your hair. It will always make your hair nice and cozy like this. And this is his name. Oh Lord, she didn't turn into a prayer. All right, you guys, so until next time, take care, God bless, stay glam, and you know we love you, boo. Bye. Bye-bye. Gotta go to bed now. Wee. Then we'll get yourself something to drink, and then it's time to go to bed.